Yeah, he's doing a good job. He's doing a good job. Man. Yeah. It's like when I get up here and the microphones are like smaller, I mean taller than me, and it highlights my uh, last name, David Little. I'm like, bring the microphone out, please. Anyway, I, um, anybody uh, here in the news today, Starbucks. Starbucks is going to be serving alcoholic beverages. Do you hear that? Yeah, that's true, right. True story, yeah? Now, that doesn't mean you're going to stop coming here. This is going to be your first stop for here, you know, if you're doing. But, uh, oh, I started thinking, that's pretty cool. You know, what they're really doing, what Starbucks is really doing, they're taking a lead in, um, in same-sex marriage. Because you're going to have uh, Morning Joe and Budweiser and, and Miller Time all on the same menu. On the same menu. Forever. And a latte. Okay. Boom. Heard that hit the ground hard. Anybody ever experience uh, Space Invaders? And when I say space, and when I say space, and I'm not talking about aliens. I'm talking about uh, space invaders. When you're, uh, you know, when you're on the elevator, and all of a sudden somebody's like right in your face, like looking at your zip. You know, they're like right here. You know, or you're on, you know, you know, you're on your way home from the, you know, whatever. And then the people get them on the max, and like they're all up in you, and you can't turn anywhere you look. You're gonna be looking at somebody's boob, somebody's crotch, somebody's butt. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to do as far as looking and everything like that. That's what I mean, space invaders. People that just invade your space. You know, I, I think we got to have something to uh, counteract that. You know, I've thought of an invention for that. And something where you don't have to say anything. You don't have to be rude or anything like that. But something where they can just kind of read your body language. I, I'm going to call it a body language line of clothing. Where it will be like on your hat or on your t-shirt and some of the things are just a couple of things i came up with tell me what you think one of the one of the, one of the signs might be again somebody's all in your space right up in your face you might have um your staring creeps me out please stop now um you also might have um how about uh, please don't fart next to me how about um Shut up, please. I don't want to talk to you. Yeah? Design a line of clothing. Just a thought. Something to deal with, again, when your space gets invaded. Space invaders. Well, anyway, um, I, um, I experienced something the other day I never had. I believe that um, I'm not a prophet or anything like that, but I believe springtime is coming early this year. Springtime. And I don't know about the Groundhog Day or anything like that, but I saw something I'd never seen before with my eyes. You want to hear it? I was taking a break at work, and uh, you know, there's wildlife and everything I'm like that. There's trees around and everything like that. And I saw, you know, squirrels are running around and everything like that. And I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever, you know. And then all of a sudden, oh, they stopped. And then uh, and one of them started to hump the other one. I had never seen squirrels humping. It lasted about seven seconds. The dude squirrel got off the female squirrel. And he was just kind of her, you know. And then she ran up the tree and whatever kind of, and you know, she was cussing him out in squirrel. You know, some things are universal. And he, you know, and a male squirrel tried to go back and chase her and everything like that. But I think it was over. Because it sounded like she said something like, you know, you can keep doing this, you know. I'm going to get a turtle, a big, hard turtle. It's going to go nice and slow. And you're going to be out of here, buddy. That's what I sense from the little squirrel that I could pick up. from the True story. So I think springtime is going to come early. You know, it's wintertime. They're hopping already. I mean, what's up with that? I've never seen that before. And then something else I never heard before. I never heard, I never heard the president sing. Did you hear that? Viral? Everybody's looking at me like, we're Republicans, damn it. We don't have nothing to do with that. I mean, what I mean? was viral. He, he went to the Apollo. President Obama went to the Apollo. And he was introducing a singer, Al Green. And, 
and he spit out a few verses and everything like that and people were just like oh and it was really good and I think you know got to be careful because that sets a president because you know you'd be expected to do that all the time you know they'd be like you know president uh, things aren't going so good and you're ready we got to do something to kind of kick up your, your ratings uh, you know what can you do man I think we need a little little Motown or something Motown I've got sunshine on a cloudy day when it's cold outside I've got the month of May I guess you say what can make me feel this way America 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 talking about America anyway I just thought of. And I think uh, if I could design one, then the, the perfect debate, you know, with the Republicans that are, that are going at it right now, it's a turnabout's fair play, you know. Hillary and Obama, they went at it last time. It was a long experience, so let's let the other guys go at it. I think we should have a presidential pinata, Devo, Jerry Springer debate. Okay? Because here's what happens is because when the, when the politicians lie, there's no way to verify, right? You know, the, uh, the, the, the moderators are like, well, you know, he said this, and uh, this is what actually happened. And uh, Frank, I don't know what to make out of this. What do you, you know, what do you think, you know? And, you know, obviously, the candidate's lying, and they can't call them on it. So what do you do? You send them to the Devo, Jerry Springer, presidential pinata debate. And how that works, of course, you're going to have uh, you're going to have the uh, Devo anytime you know they lie. Like for example, the moderator would say, "Okay, uh, candidate, uh, is it true that you cheated on your wife?" No. That's not what we have found out here. Okay, we've got your wives here. And they're coming out with the pinata sticks. Okay, play the song. Dun, 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 dun. Go right that way. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Whip it. Whip it good. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Let me pick it up. Verification. Mr. Candidate, we hear that uh, you've been hiding a lot of your money offshore and you haven't been paying your fair share of taxes. What do you have to say about that? You say it's not true. That's not what we hear. Okay, let's get, uh, we have some folks from Occupy that uh, want to greet you with some pinata sticks. Bam, Devo, dun, 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 dun. correct that with, dun, 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 dun. whip it, dun, whip it good. Dun, 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 dun. You're hearing the song in your head, come on. Dun, 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 dun. I'm David Little. Thank you for listening. <laughs>